What is going on, our squad? Are you just getting into Valorant? Looking for quick tips on how to quickly improve in the game? Search no more. Here are five quick tips that will dramatically help improve your gameplay. Valorant is a brand new game developed by Riot that incorporates classic tactical shooters aspects and adds its own little spices over them. The closest game you can relate it to is Counter-Strike, an extremely popular and old-school tactical shooter that has been around for decades. Which leads to my first tip. Play the game and learn at your own pace. It doesn't matter if there's one enemy player who gets 60 kills and never dies. Focus on you. Getting killed often or bottom fragging. Bottom fragging is when you are around the last players of your team on the scoreboard does not make you a bad player. Try to focus on your deaths, one at a time. What led to it? Were you holding a point and got rushed? If so, could you have tried another corner to react better to the enemy invading the site? Or were you attacking and got a little greedy, which resulted in exposing yourself to defenders holding corners? Those moments are where it's crucial, for your sake, to focus on the events and sporadic decisions that led to your death versus blaming the game, the ping, the MMR, the f***ing smurfs, and... Keep in mind that the vast majority of the people getting into this game are coming from shooters like Counter-Strike, games that they've spent countless of hours playing and probably come to master. And so, they will have better game senses and aim right off the bat, regardless of the character's abilities. But that doesn't mean that you can't eventually get on their level. Be patient with yourself. Now to my tip number two. Learn the characters and their abilities. If you are like me and have the need to understand everything yesterday about a new game, Valorant has something for you. It lets you access every single agent when you enter the shooting range. So all you need to do is get in there and take a moment to read and play with each agent's abilities to understand their mechanics and their results. This way you won't find yourself lost and panicked looking around when you suddenly hear someone scream, Joke's over! You're dead! Relax. It's only Phoenix triggering his ult somewhere on the map. You're not going to get struck down by Zeus himself. The use of the shooting range leads to my tip number three. Try out all the guns and get an understanding of how they work. This is very close to tip number two, but even more crucial. Valmet is heavily reliant on gunplay. That is why you need to understand how that noodles you're holding works. Otherwise, you'll end up spraying walls more than you'll hit enemies. So go to the shooting range, pop up some robots, or use the recoil pad and board, and then go through each and every gun on the buy menu. If you're coming from games like Overwatch and never truly played Counter-Strike, you'll need to learn the difference between the guns, the recoil, and the shooting slash movement mechanics linked to them. Now pop that unlimited ammo and shoot, shoot, shoot. Now for tip number four. Take the time to learn the maps and their callouts. There are a few resources already surfacing online about the maps and their callouts, but frankly, since I'm the type who wants to experiment as I learn instead of ramming down my throat 60 pages of text only to remember one thing about them, simply launch a custom match in the desired map. Then walk around it and opt to pop your in-game map to see where you are. Oh, look, the callouts are already written on it. So focus on playing and if you forget your callout, just open the map. You don't even need to alt tab. For my final tip, tip number five, remember that this is a team game. All doesn't rely on you. If you or your teammate make one mistake, it's not the end of the world. The match is not on you. While you might find yourself feeling down or stupid if you derp, even more so if a teammate calls you out on it because he's got 5 Grandmaster accounts in Overwatch and 6 Global Elite accounts in CSGO, don't. We all derp, we all learn from mistakes. If anybody calls you out and starts being toxic, just mute them. If the enemy team laughs at you in general chat, just keep your eyes on the match. This isn't a chat room. It's a game. Believe it or not, games are meant to be fun to play. Yes. Yes. Having fun is allowed. All the above to promote positive reinforcement. If your teammate derps, hey, they tried. If you derp, hey, you tried. And if an enemy angers you, remember what Don Diego de la Vega told Alejandro Morieta in the movie The Mask of Zorro. Never attack in anger. Does that make me sound old? But the point is, letting yourself getting angry over game outcomes could result in clouding your view and your judgment, leading to more mistakes and then making you spiral down into more anger. So if something annoys you, step back, take a deep breath, 
Remember that this is a game. Remember that this is a learning process and go back in. Now, I hope those quick five tips will get you to a drastic improvement in your Valorant experience. Let me know in the comments below if you found this video useful. I am definitely looking forward to making more videos about each and every agent, game strats, and more. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Those go a long way. Now, go out there and have fun. It's allowed.